Hey guys, it's Tim McCamus. Uh, I'm going to show you a new product we've come up with and uh, been working on this for quite a few years and we finally got it perfected. If you've been following uh, drag racing, door car racing in general, but uh, been following the, uh, the changes over the years, you'll, uh, you'll surely be uh, uh, looking at the automation that's been included in a lot of the cars. So over time, drivers have a problem, drivers have to make a mistake or anything like uh, an issue in the car, something is invented to correct that, to help the driver drive the car better, make it easier, make more consistent runs. So if, if you look at these cars at, in today's status, a lot of the function has been taken away from the driver. So um, the, the clutch pedal is one of the biggest things that's been negated from the car. Most of these cars now have a converter drive or an automatic transmission, so the, the clutch pedal is non-existent. There's a few drivers that still use a clutch pedal, but most of them have went to uh, an automatic and, and taken the clutch out of the picture. So now you can uh, use a button to launch the car from the starting line. It's more consistent, it's quicker. But a lot of the other things have been taken away from the driver too. Um, driver misses a shift or shifts late, shifts too early we have auto shift. So now we've got an automatic transmission, we've got a converter, we've got an auto shift, we've got complete electronic control of the ignition, we've got fuel injection now, so we have complete electronic control of the engine, engine management, fuel system, nitrous, turbo boost, everything you can imagine we have control over. So the driver has been kind of cut back to just steering the car and hitting the gas. So with that in mind, uh, we came up with a new product that uh, we think is going to uh, create a lot of waves in drag racing. It's gonna, basically it's going to be the uh, driverless race car. So we've taken those few functions that are left for the driver, which is steering and the, and the brake and the gas, and we've uh, come up with linear transducers and cylinders, air cylinders, to control those functions. So basically the driver is non-existent in the car. We've got uh, cylinder mounted on the on the gas pedal here that will work the throttle. We've got one mounted on the brake pedal that will apply the brake pressure. We've even got one mounted on the steering at the front of the car that will control the uh, the complete steering section on the car. So everything has a pneumatic cylinder that's controlled electronically. So instead of getting in the car and driving it yourself, basically you're going to use this. We've installed a camera in here to take place of the eyes of the driver so you don't need to be anywhere around the car you can control this car completely from the pits with this rf controller this has a screen on it um, we have uh, we have a little joystick here that'll control the throttle so this is going to give it uh, gas it's going to take it from an idle to full throttle this one here is going to be left and right steering and then this one if you go left and right will be your brake control so throttle and brake control will be controlled here uh, there's a series of buttons on here you've got if you're running a turbo car and you like to bump your way into the starting line this button right here will be your bump box this is going to bump you in um, this button right here will be your uh, line lock control and then this red button here is going to be your parachute levers now the parachutes are still going to be controlled by the RF device on the track so if you even forget to hit that um, that's going to be uh, done automatically so you don't have to worry about it. So from a safety standpoint, it's incredible. We don't have to have a poor end seat. We don't even have to have a seat. We don't have to have the head padding. We don't have to have a window net. We don't have to have seat belts. We don't need anything in this area. All we need is a few cylinders and some electronic controls in this box and uh, you can run this car. So we've tested this out. It works perfectly. Uh, there's uh, sensors installed on the car that will uh, find the starting line, tell, tell the car where it's at in the pre-stage and stage lights. It also looks underneath the car to find the best spot on the track where the groove is. So it looks at the condition of the racetrack and puts the car in the position for the best groove so the car is dead center in the track in the best rubber that it can be in. So all that's taken care of. So all you've got to do is hit a button, start the thing up. You can still do the burnout manually through this box. You back it up hit a button, everything else is automatic. You can control the uh, throttle manually or you can hit the auto mode and control it fully automatic so you don't have to do anything. When you hit the auto mode, it will control everything for you. So even if you're behind the water into burnout, you hit auto mode, it's gonna do the burnout for you, it's gonna back the car up, it's gonna stage the car, 
and launch the car, do the shifts, deploy the parachutes, hit the brakes, turn off at the end of the track. All you've got to do is go down on your golf cart and pull the car back to your trailer. So we've tested this on uh, quite a few cars. We've had it out at the track. It was very safe. It works really well. Um, we're also in the uh, final stages of developing a app that works on a tablet. So this app will be, um, it, it's, it's good enough at this point right now where you don't even have to go to the racetrack. This app can be controlled from your living room at your house. So the camera will show you where the car's at. The functions are all on the, the touch screen on the, on the tablet. And as long as you get your car to the track, have your buddies drop the car off, leave it set there. You can control everything from the tablet, sitting on your couch, watching reruns of Gilligan's Island. So it's very safe, very easy to use. Um, we have this available and uh, it is gonna be, it's gonna be for service in the uh, middle of the 2016 season. So this, uh, this thing is, uh, we just gotta get a few, few approvals from uh, some of the sanctioning bodies, but they've already seen the prototypes and uh, they're in agreement that it's a very, very safe and, and viable product. So um, check it out on our website and um, let us know what you think.